I wanted to quickly show you how to edit a banner ad a little differently on mobile. So we have a banner ad here for this Landscaping with Colorado Native Plants conference. Um, and what we need to do to look at it in mobile is to come up here and click on Switch to Mobile. Then when you click here, you're going to, you can make this larger. Um, it, ideally, you want more height to work with for this cropping. Now I can click here on Crop and I can pull it in um, and crop it a little bit differently. That's why we've been spacing everything kind of in the center of these ads. And that way we can make it a lot bigger and I can crop it even more than that. I want to get it as big as I can first. Um, that may be a little too big because you don't, well you see a little bit. Let me make it just a little bit smaller. You can also use this toolbar over here. Maybe put in 60 pixels. See how that looks. Maybe a little bit bigger. 63. <laughs> It's always different depending on the ad and how it crops the image. Move this down. So right here, this is a, a drag handle. Um, that allows you to move everything down in sync below. Um, so it just gives us a little bit of space to work with for this ad. Now the other thing is, let's try to center it a little bit more. It looked a little off center. Um, all right. And a lot of times when you crop it, it bumps it over lately. It's just a weird little glitch. Just drag it back, make sure it's centered. Um, you can also use these to center things or to align them in different ways. Um, so this toolbar is pretty handy. If you don't see it, come up here to toolbar and you can click there. But I also like it for the sizing. I can change the, uh, oops, the height pretty easily. I can also change the X and Y coordinates. If I wanted to move it way down the page quickly without having to drag it a whole bunch of times, um, you could put like 3,000 in here and get you know way down the page. Um, let's look at some of these other things. So coming down here, there's a big block here too. Let's get rid of that. And again, I'm just using this stretch handle that moves everything up and in, in sync with it. And let's give this ad a little bit more room. So I'm gonna drag this down. drag. Not every time does that drag handle work, so you might have to use it in a kind of combination where you're just clicking on things, moving them, and adjusting it. This may even go away eventually, or maybe we say 26, since I think this is maybe the 26th year. All right, make this one as big as the other. And the other fun little trick you can use is if you click on an ad that you like the size of it, Click on that height so it's highlighted and then click on the next object and it'll size it at that exact same size. It's a kind of a little hidden trick of, of uh, Wix. Another thing you can do is if you like the, if you want to line everything up to the top, let's say, um, you can look at that, see where the X, or I'm sorry, the Y coordinate is, that's the height. And then if you click on the object, it'll move it right up there with it. And there's also these undos up here, so if you mess something up, you're always, you can always go back in time. Let's scroll down, make sure the rest of the page looks good. It looks like it does. Most of the time this will look good, but it's always good to check, especially if you're adding a new ad um, or ads, just to make sure that they're lining up right, there's no big gaps, etc., etc. Let's give this one a little bit more space. Um, so now we have this ad, we have this new ad, and I think this is looking good. Feel free to modify this more or crop it differently. Um, you can even, if we want, design a different ad for the mobile. Uh, you can, can come over here to add to mobile, choose image, my image uploads, and then you can upload a new ad um, which will appear here. So if you wanted just to design two different ads, that's another option um, for this. So that one's for mobile and one's for the desktop. We'll look back on the desktop. Nothing will change when you edit stuff in mobile. If you add an image to mobile, for example, it won't show up on the desktop. So um, everything else should look good. I'm going to hit publish. And we are done. The only thing, other thing I wanted to mention was if you wanted to move up these this ad. So this ad now is down here. We could put it between maybe these things. So we could put it before where to find us. I'm going to just go ahead and move it up there to show you. 
And you'll notice as I dragged it into there, it's going to put it into the strip. This is a box, basically. They call it strips and wicks. Um, so now it's attached to that one. Now I can move everything out, up, use these drag handles, and then we can even get rid of maybe this white space here. A lot of times if you click on something, it'll suggest you to, to delete the space, so feel free to use that as well if it suggests it. And that way this adds a little higher on the page, which I think is good. So I'm going to hit publish. Let me know if you have any other questions.